Hello Donna folks, welcome and welcome back, I'm Xenomes Bem vindo de volta pessoal aqui, Xenomes Faz um tempo eu não estava fazendo lives uh, Pouco tempo, tive uns pequenos transtornos, mas aqui estamos de volta I had a little gap in the transmissions uh, About one, two weeks, one week and a half, something like that a Little life trouble, but we are back now and uh, Better to continue this uh, live stream of uh, character making from scratch. I have also downloaded a new app that is much better than the previous one that I was using. So this one is called it's called uh, Window Top. It's free and it's more powerful because not only can I have a shortcut for snapping this on top, always on top, any window in principle. Also I can render it transparent changing the opacity I can so this will help a lot no more uh, skipping chat if everything works here so we'll be able to communicate better with folks in the uh, chat you <laughs> exactly então eu fiz uma pequena atualização de software então esse aplicativo na verdade para colocar a tela no fundo, window top, é bem melhor do que eu usava antes esse aqui é gratuito e tem transparência e dá para comandar também para manter as janelas no topo então, so let's open blender I'm using here, so let's start this timer, countdown timer, vamos usar esse, esse temporizador let me give myself 50 minutes to start with some work. The opacity here though is not very good, so this is not ideal. At least there is opacity control, but I'm not sure it's working as it should, so let's just me try it again here. Configurations, and then as I try to improve opacity here, uh, it just don't seem to apply uh, something about I need to save those things and there seems not to be a place to save, that's the problem, so I think there was something to save but I just... Okay, so uh, apparently I cannot see real-time chance here. Uh, where is that? Yeah, now I've lost the... Okay, so vamos direto então para o arquivo. So let's go to the file, so we, uh, now this was for animation, 3D animation, so no, this is my main character, so here, um, sorry folks, <laughs> there's some time I need to inject the 3D characters, no, 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 it's not here, uh, oh, that's annoying, yeah, 3D character from scratch, of course, that should be this one. Okay, this is this one. So, uh, we were working on the mesh topology. Oh no, I have conflicting... Conflicting commands. Um, what's going on here? Wireframe, control... Oh no, 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 wrong... Uh, my bad, it says... Uh, just, okay, so here... Uh, my last, last time, da última vez eu estava resolvendo a topologia de malha dessa personagem. So I was solving the mesh topology and making for the hand. So the shape of the hand is very bad, <laughs> currently. Uh, a forma da mão, a geometria da mão está muito ruim. Maybe not so much the mesh topology, though. No entanto, a topologia de malha deve tá, deve estar tá funcional. Não deve estar tá ruim. Uh, mas, uh, às vezes, quando a malha está muito ruim, pode ser sinal, às vezes, de que a, a topologia não está na sua melhor uh, forma. Né? Na sua me... Mas, às vezes, é simplesmente porque o, a forma está ruim mesmo, a geometria precisa de uma reorganização. So, uh, it could be that this mesh topology is just not uh, as though I have got in theoretical inputs to 
combine some supposed best ideas uh, not sometimes that is the great thing to do like imagine a soccer team imagine a team of football you, you get the best players in the world for each position well there's no such thing as the best players in the world yes there are talents for specific but if you sometimes it's about synergy right folks so um, sometimes it doesn't work it doesn't matter if I get oh this is the best thing for the knuckles this is the best thing for for that area uh, you combine everything and it sucks in the end uh, so uh, it may work but it may also suck so uh, it's not so much a question of getting the best of everything it's more about a smart combination this, so this is more complex right folks it's not just linear linear decisions it's multi-dimensional it's more complicated than just por isso que uh, não é só pegar o melhor de cada isso seria uma coxa de retalhos que não tem realmente uma porque pode ser que algumas configurações aqui algumas escolhas não combinem muito bem com outras por vários motivos então uh, não é tão não é trivial however it could be that by simply uh, getting some better work here on the shapes on the mesh geometry I might be able to get uh, so um, shift H let's also use the screencast folks add-on enable that so you can see what I'm doing why, why I'm seeing that I don't need the area here então, uh, o meu receio aqui, my fear here is that what I'm concerned about slightly is that this mesh topology that I've carefully investigated and designed uh, is the first time that I do something uh, with that complexity. I tried other complex things but before, but this is probably the most complex thing I ever tried. Uh, and it's not looking very good in great deal because of the geometry, right? So, uh, in the rigging process, we might see better, uh, we might have a more concrete, uh, I would say, output of all that. Uh, na hora de rigar, talvez a gente tenha uma melhor visão sobre se isso aqui tá, vai funcionar bem ou não. Oh, there's some missing stuff there. Okay. Uh, tem umas coisas ali que tá faltando, mas uh, são pequenos detalhes que não vai ter, não vai ser difícil fechar agora. Uma das dificuldades que eu tava tendo aqui era como finalizar essa parte aqui. So, yeah. So, one of the difficulties I was having so was how to finalize that thing uh, on uh, because here we have clearly more geometry going on here than on the yeah than on the thumb so this uh, is perhaps dangerous yeah you see how this start to build in unbuild inside I mean so this is probably a bad idea because I want this to yeah so this problem is, uh, is bad I need to solve this in some better way. Let's see. What if I try to... This is dangerous, folks. Isso aqui é meio perigoso, mas... O que eu estou fazendo aqui, eu colapsei. I collapsed the geometry into trigons in the joint region. <laughs> uh, but it's certain it might be better than what I had before. Mas isso talvez seja melhor do que o que eu fiz antes, por causa dessa coisa horrível aqui. Uh, so this thing will, like... Uh, another trigon, ok. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's do this then. Ok. No. At last. Uh, so this is a bit chaotic, folks. Uh, I wasn't expecting this, but this is the puzzling thing about uh, mesh topology anyway, so... I don't know about these problems, so we're trying to inv make something original that works, so it's not trivial, right? The planning here was not that great also, 
no matter how many examples I got, I've got, as soon as I tried to implement a lot of them, things started to uh, create their own problematics, right? Então, um, mas apesar disso, tem uma boa chance de que isso aqui acabe funcionando. Uh, intuição. Mas eu, absolutely, however, even if it, this stuff ends up working well in the rigging process, at the same time, it is clear for me that I need to improve those shapes, right, folks? Isso aqui tá muito ruim, right? So, those shapes are horrid. Uh, we uh, need to... Yeah, there's so many details to shape this hand better. Betterly. <laughs> uh, this word doesn't exist. But, analogism. Betterly. An adverbial form of what is already an adverb, right? Or, not exactly an adverb. I'm not sure right now. But, it doesn't matter. You got the idea. So... Let's make this betterly. And here... Yes, this part here makes sense, but it needs to be more here. Yeah, so we can push this thing, we can do whatever here. That uh, We can be very bold here in those reshapings of the geometry, not of the mesh ge uh, topology, but of the mesh geometry. We just want something that is more... Uh, kind to the character design that we are making. So, então fazer um monte de mudança aqui na geometria sem problema, porque a geometria aqui está muito ruim mesmo. Então a ideia é tentar uh, não a topologia de malha, a topologia tá tá como tá, mas a geometria a gente vai tentar. Então as conexões, né? A gente vai deixar como tá, a não ser que eu encontre mais algumas coisas que possam ser problemáticas. This I think I can push back the knuckles. Vamos tentar puxar isso de, de forma diferenciada. Aqui, isso aqui tá muito es esquisito. So this is very bad. So this is why I'm very concerned about a lot of uh, mesh. Because I, I don't do much sculpting, 3D sculpting. Quando eu não faço muito de sculpting, tem uma malha muito, com muita geometria, dá muito trabalho na modelagem 3D. For 3D modeling, have a lot of uh, mesh, geometry, subdivisions, mesh density in this kind of way. It's really pro problematic to, to solve certain shapes, right? Uh, the flows also, they are not exactly flows that are being very helpful in the sense of smoothing the, shaping the hand, right? As we smooth things out. Uh, so this is also something that perhaps uh, the mesh topology is not helping so much. So, uh, but it could be that uh, still though, this mesh topology might be very good for the deforms that are incoming. Soon, when we come, well, not so soon, but as we go to the rigging section, and you know, or maybe you don't, but if you don't, you'll learn soon enough that if you check my channel, there are a lot of content about rigging, organic rigging, right? I'm crazy guy about rigging, experimentalist rigging, rigger, <laughs> so I do crazy things, and many, many discoveries, yeah, I mean, investigating some theories, Ideally, what we wanted in Blender, at least, would be some more advanced, sophisticated, scientific um, skinning algorithm, right? So wave painting would be a much more sculptural thing, and not that thing that everyone is panicking about, because everyone hates wave painting. Anyone that says that loves it, it's he, this person is lying to, <laughs> to himself, herself. Don't get me wrong, I was one of those persons, <laughs> those individuals. <laughs> well, what I mean is that, of course, uh, wave painting can be very cool, actually. But the problem is that even though we might be very good at wave painting um, and understand how to solve certain problems along with the... right. At the same time, we cannot say 
that the deforms through skinny algorithms, the conventional ones, right, that Blender use, are not terrible in terms or, or in terms of organic deforms. When I mean organic deforms, I mean that you don't solve rigging with so, uh, wave painting. It's a, it's very bad. Yeah, we solve rigging, organic rigging on more organic characters that have complex shapes. So even some stylized 3D cartoons, they can have a stylization which is organic uh, in the sense that it's complex. It doesn't need, like, like if it were naturalist drawing, maybe richer even, but it's not the case. Usually cartoon stylization is to make things simpler in some way, but not all stylizations are that simple. Like the kind of stylization that I do, o tipo de stylização que eu faço, desde o 2D até o 3D, é, tem uma certa complexidade de formas uh, that you can see from my annotations here. The, yeah, let's say, if I hide this, yeah, so you see those shapes, this is cartoon, right? Uh, anime cartoons, I think, a big mix somewhat, a blend between those. But you see the shapes are not very simple, right? They have a lot of subtleties that we can simplify or not in the 3D adaptation. Uh, this is I've got from naturalistic drawing, right? I never get this from uh, without studying naturalist drawing. Real people, uh, nudes, nude uh, drawing. Yeah, I've made life drawing with nude uh, drawing nude people in courses of art and some some bars also. There are some cartoonistic bar, uh, thematic cartoonistic bar where artists reunited every one day per week and uh, every uh, the same at the night time and then we drew you some people there we paid them uh you know uh nude poser people right professionals right that went there to get some money on that work it's a job right uh, and then they posed for us artists uh, i don't remember if those bar there were nude maybe that would be prohibited but they were sort of half naked. Otherwise it will be in the university some course of art, uh, visual art. So we had like, uh, yeah, professionals that went nude in the class. So very simple thing, right? Not for kids, but yeah, it's for adults. And uh, we were there for draw, right? So, and it's in the university, so that's safe uh, place to work with this. And so very serious work, right? Very beautiful thing to do, and uh, you need a lot of, right? Uh, and the guys there, the 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 people that did that work, they're, they're very comfortable. They did. It's uh, if you never, and those things exist, and it's very difficult for artists to get sometimes this kind of experience. I had this experience. So I was lucky in some sense, right? If it weren't for those. Uh, places, right? Uh, if I weren't into the domains of the field of emerged with the artistic field, I wouldn't never probably have had this kind of experience. So, otherwise, we can take from people in the streets or uh, pictures, movies, but it's not the same thing, right? When you are in front of uh, models, nude people uh, practicing training, learning with uh, the orientation of a teacher or some criticism, valid critic, of, uh, that that's the best thing, right? So, okay, okay, folks, sorry, sorry for the... <laughs> Let's go back to the mesh topology. Vamos voltar aqui para topologia de mal. E aqui... Uh, so, let's see what I'm doing here. Uh, let's go back to Blender. Where's Blender? Oh, this is strange window here. Uh, it's a portable portable blender and apparently my windows don't, doesn't recognize the the icon right uh, which didn't happen with the by the way uh, bl uh, zip blender file to download is the is the portable version while the MSI I think this is the the version for installation right rigorous installation in windows right so the thing that is more prone to uh, affect the system right the system of windows so okay so here uh, 
the MSI version installed in Windows and it showed the Blender icon in this Windows 11 here. This portable version doesn't. Uh, I had to install the portable version because I was having problem with automatic <laughs> updates of Blender. I think some add-ons broke. Acho que alguns add-ons quebraram quando eu quando teve uma atualização automática da versão MSI do Blender 4. Então eu estava usando o Blender 4.0.2 instalado, que era o do arquivo MSI, e de repente ela atualizou para o Blender 4.1. So suddenly it, it, it uh, updated to Blender 4.1 and then, oh, that's cool, great, I'm starting to use Blender 4.1. But then I didn't, I had add-ons that I relied totally, right? And so I couldn't continue on that version. So I still have the other version, I ainda tenho a versão 4.1 instalada de fato e auto-atualizante. And so it keeps updating whenever there will be another version coming. Uh, but I'm not using this for for my current project because one the one of the add-ons that I absolutely need is the Wiggle 2 add-on for the physics bone physics, uh, very cool add-on. So for hair physics, cloth physics using bones, <laughs> that's very cool. Even yeah, and some other features of the body if we if we want jiggle physics right with armature bones right skeleton stuff. Então, uh, é, então não podia, eu precisava, daí eu, eu descobri que dava para baixar o Blender uh, de... Dava para, em vez de eu tentar apagar tudo que eu tinha de Blender, reinstalar e tudo... Uh, não dava para, não adiantava eu reinstalar a versão ali, auto atualizar, né? Então, eu precisava de uma versão fixa e aí a versão portátil seria um, acho que uma das soluções que eu encontrei para isso. So I have the portable that is fixed, static, it will stay like that as long as I'm running that portable version on 4.0.2 and when finally I find some solution for the add-ons, maybe I just didn't test enough. It was like partially working, partially broken. So, too risky, no, let's not use Blender 4.1 for now on some of my projects, and that's it, folks. Well, here, I'm really concerned about this. This is, I need to, yes, so the thing that I want to do, the curious thing, is that I can actually push this trigon to this place. <laughs> we can be pushing this as long as we want, <laughs> uh, but it will, is that correct? I'm not sure. Yes, yes, that is correct. So you see, I'm pushing, eu estou empurrando esse triângulo as, uh, pra, pra, pra dentro da mão, uh, pro lado da, da, da mão mesmo. Uh, isso pode ajudar, this can help, but it doesn't solve the problem, right? It just we're just pushing the problem, so at least now I'm nearly... Uh, okay. Um, in this case, let's do this. Yeah, <laughs> so a uh, very bizarre thing. Oops, uh, here. I need, so to solve those trigons, I cannot be doing this, so I need probably um, some sort of division that will turn this into a quad, but in, a, in some topology that it, that won't ruin, hmm, okay, so this is a good idea, so I have the possibility perhaps to create and this is interesting because here I have a pole. Aqui eu tenho um polo de 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So a pole of 5, uh, 5 star pole, então um polo de 5 estrelas, né? Here too. Uh, I need to try to 
see what I can do with that and with this so I cannot create a subdivision here and here at the same time because this will become then a pentagon então não posso criar uma coisa aqui, aqui simetricamente, eu precisaria só de um lado. E aí isso envolve uma escolha. Uma escolha que aqui está me parecendo intrigante, seria isso aqui. O que acaba de dizer? Hmm. Alright, so this is, this is interesting, let's see what this loop is doing. So, uh, where is my smoother? Gizmo. Ah, Blender is going crazy again. Something is is like the There's something weird about the transparency. Yeah, so definitely I'm not seeing transparency here. Uh, on material maybe it doesn't show transparency. Yeah, that's right. So it must be this, all right. Uh, esse viewport shading não permite mostrar a transparência do, dos objetos, né? Da malha. Mas aqui sim, mas... Bom, well, whatever. So... I'm selecting something behind. This is very odd. Something is going wrong here. Something is odd here. It's like I'm missing... Yeah, there, there's definitely there's something going wrong here. I, I'm not sure. Um, I should be able to see behind. This is bad because I don't see the color. So, okay, let's ignore this for now. It can't be the materials. It's something about the opacity that is... Something that... I don't see anything, any option here that could be no this is for bones okay so wireframe i think this is important this uh, yeah this is not changing anything so very very odd uh, it's something i might have uh unset alguma coisa que eu, que eu desconfigurei aqui eu vou ter que what I can do, eu posso, no entanto, tentar salvar isso aqui pra, como a próxima versão. E aí depois eu investigo isso. So here, we got this. No, we got this. And let's also hide this. And just shift H this. Alright, now this is the selection. Uh, let's see what this face loop is doing. All right, it goes back and okay, wants to go there. So this is acceptable. My gizmo is still Yeah, so the, you see there's two problems. There are a gizmo problem. There isn't some modifier that I'm in the right the correct hand, right? Yes. Eu não estou na mão espelhada. E aqui está. Ah, pode ser algo assim, talvez. Let's see this. No, because I'm not in. Anyways, I'm not in the. It was not in the. Ok, let's go back there. Home. No. Period. Alright, so uh, the gizmo. It's just not there, so two problems, and they seem they probably are related. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna close this, 
and I'm going to reopen Blender it's yeah this will be very critical oh here we go so we are still having problem with the transparency but at least the gizmo is back <laughs> uh, yeah the icon of the thing was strange also oh, let's get now this so good smoother uh, except that uh, yeah we still have problems there but overall this is doing a good job isso aqui no geral parece que está ajudando e eu consegui resolver o problema de dois triângulos com essa coisa aqui eu poderia tentar não isso aqui está lupando aqui então uh, isso aqui é bem importante eu não posso simplesmente desfazer esse polígono eu também não posso tentar misturar com esse porque ou porque são duas vias there are two guidelines here there is this one there is two face loops right this this one and there is this one so I cannot merge those things because uh, they are doing different works right so I cannot uh, so I must keep those things more or less like this and it's fine this is much better than what I have I had before folks so aqui está muito melhor do que eu tinha antes eu só preciso continuar uh, trabalhando com isso aqui e uh, as formas da mão estão melhorando a geometria the geometry of the hand is getting better uh, thanks to also some of these readjustments uh, this part certainly what I need to do here is to be more serious about this eu tenho que ser mais more rigorous about these shapes here folks então o que eu vou fazer I'm gonna try to push this up like this uh, I'm gonna use even yeah let's use control shift so I'm not using proportional editing so I'm putting this upward so that no here from here it doesn't matter exactly but the face okay so you're not looping very well here's something okay now fine this one a bit up there so we created this gap between the bony part of the hand right so we get maybe this one a bit higher and uh, let's smooth it out also and centralize a little better yeah it's a bit deformed right so there's too much yeah sorry folks so the problem is that I'm a low poly guy and I don't have too much if I did sculpting probably at some point I should I would I want to learn sculpt 3d sculpting to a good level uh, to, to have more versatility in creating 3d shapes right uh, more freedom more uh, possibilities and so many problems here of geometry I could probably solve if I were easier leap <laughs> oh, another word that doesn't exist if I were doing uh, if I were doing right sculpting 3d sculpting instead of just 3d modeling so there are some limitations on 3d modeling that I'm a bit frustrated about and uh, this is why learning uh, uh, the other method should be valuable but overall the shape is getting better mas no geral a, a forma está ficando legal mesmo que eu não seja proficiente em escultura 3D em esculpir as figuras em 3D ainda pelo menos não é alguma coisa que eu gosto muito de praticar eu tenho dificuldade de eu já tentei I have tried already but uh, maybe I should try with a good tutorial of sculpting right follow strictly like old school tutorialing <laughs> uh, and so I, I I had horrible experience like uh, like uh, smoothing then I couldn't the joints they never get 
Alice destroying the joints. <laughs> Uh, and of course to get those parts well in sculpting 3D apparently we need some uh, specific solutions and for that we need to make some sort that didn't sound very natural to me in the beginning or at least the ways that I've seen the people who are doing out there and that kind of eh, this, this is stupid this is just Ridiculous. I'm here for sculpting. I'm not here to, to be like Technically modeling stuff and then uh, it just got me uninterested, but Certainly it was just lack of techniques. I need a, a better skill set and then I would be able to Pass through to get through those those little problems big problems actually, but uh, little challenges regarding being more comfortable in 3D sculpting in a software like Blender. Could be that other 3D sculpting softwares uh, are much more intuitive than Blender. And also there is the fact that when I tried sculpt 3D sculpting in Blender, it was an older version of Blender at some point, so I no, that's why it was probably I had these bad memories. I just need to try new stuff, right? Uh, retry, retry, right? Uh, try again with a new mindset. Eu acho que tá ficando legal essa forma agora. Tá agora tá suportável. It is bearable. <laughs> The fingers are horrible, still too uninteresting, but this can be fairly, yeah, we can make this in a more analytic way. So let's try to just to get some improvements, like very, very, some ideas that people were doing, but we can, we know this, right? We know what we need here. Uh, but yeah, I've seen some guys working on that, so it's this can help a lot. It's just doing in a more semi-automated, automated way, a logical way, right? No, not logical. I mean, a more uh, economic way, maybe more analytical than intuitive. Like I'm not going shape by shape. I'm just. Okay, let's take all at once and see if we can. Yeah, so the the back of the the lower part of the fingers is sort of solved already. I have some anomalies, of course, but tem umas anomalias, claro, mas uh, no geral isso simplesmente esses pequenos ajustes globais aqui já ajudaram bastante. Yes, we have much better fingers now. But uh, there are some displacements here. Let's try to. Yeah, this is very deformed. So we lost the orientation, right? This is annoying. Uh, I'm not sure how to handle those things. There's too much mesh. There should be a way to. I'm thinking of a uh, rigging, right? So uh, I'm thinking wrongly about this problem here. I'm thinking about a system that will automa automatically sustain the alignment of the fingers, like like if it were some bone alignment. This is with bone constraints, of course. Uh, but this is not what we do for mesh, right? Mesh doesn't. In edit mode, it doesn't work like that, right? I don't have a system to do that, and even if it were to be original, right? Uh, non orthodox. So, what I need to do is just to try to be patient with these things and see if we can. Okay, so here I'm little. Oh, it's the opposite. Okay, so um, there is flesh here, more flesh, but here the bony part, indeed, they are. They are more uh, impactful. The problem is that this is a problem of this geometry here, folks. Um, aqui tem um problema da simplicidade dessa geometria que eu tentei aqui. O problema é que 
para essa parte ser mais larga, isso aqui acaba, está faltando geometria para isso. So what would need to sh get good shapes here? Yeah, this is very bad in terms of simplification, but technically this shouldn't create problems for the rigging. It shouldn't improve the rig also. Uh, more mesh, more wave painting, but this ah. é, então so now uh, actually sorry actually this so I'm not sure this is the best idea out there but maybe this will cause some trouble in the future let's see it's on the side yeah this so it's pointy there and yeah this can be i'm not sure the results but the idea is clear i just want we can also is this face looping yes those are face loops so we can smooth this out these are good faces to smooth actually so face loops right isso aqui são bons face bons face loops para smoothar então isso aqui não é de todo ruim isso aqui tem várias funções mas a função principal que eu estou fazendo isso mesmo que isso esteja aumentando a, a densidade da geometria e talvez o que eu estou fazendo aqui seja ruim nas deformações, mas isso a gente vai ver depois, pelo menos eu consigo fazer, uh, criar uma forma melhor agora, mais consistente com If this goes wrong Uh, maybe I can, yeah, I can just dissolve this and whatever, but, oh yeah, also let's not forget to do this. Here, do we need another subdivision here? Um, not sure. Uh, actually, here we have this, so can we, yeah, we can, s yeah, don't know, uh, let's just do that. Here we see we have already this face loop, which should be some sort of equivalent to that, so this is good. We don't have here, so I suspect we need this for better shape. Eh, eh, eu acho que aqui seria bom. So what instead I'm gonna do is pick these ones, these we're gonna expand, right? And these we're gonna not shrink, but unscale or actually scale down right and we can smooth out this this and this so we're getting starting to get interesting shapes uh, these ones don't smooth yeah it's not a full face loop let's just smooth this out uh, this shape is bad okay it's sure this is the middle finger and it should be the thicker one but it sounds a bit exaggerated from this angle so this seems to be and those proportions yeah proportions in fingers yeah that's time consuming there's no I don't know an automated way to solve this so this is very very annoying it will not be perfect right never <laughs> because There is too much details out there, right, folks? So, muitos detalhes, não tem como deixar isso perfeito, mas dá para dar uma ajustada. Uh, I think this seems... Uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, the fingers are still very problematic from this, the top, so we're gonna make... O que a gente vai fazer aqui é... We're gonna try to pick some... Yeah, we'll try this instead. So let's expand this selection. Uh, let's get this one to. Yeah, we can scale. Um, maybe need scale on the Z axis only. And then we just move it like here. 
yeah yeah maybe this maybe this is fine so I'm not sure about this thing this is probably wrong let's push this here more to the middle same here uh, we can push this up probably and also push this up centralized a little okay uh, I'm not sure about this one okay let's try to then same thing here let's grab this let's try to yeah I have hard time to see here but and transparency is not helping still strange so we'll do I can hide the mesh of the other finger right so let's do it instead so stack from here hide and now we can okay let's this is easier avoid me to avoid mistakes uh, this one seems good except that maybe let's guarantee it's the largest on the z-axis scale also and here we can fix something already here why not not the edge on the top can exaggerate this a little uh, that looks good we can also pick those ones and do that we can probably yeah let's smooth this a little yeah uh, here yeah this is more smoothing more even not sure smooth this out it's too high slightly this one okay and now yeah we can make more fixes but uh, this finger is still looking strange it is strange on the bottom here I think it's less strange on the top but it's still problematic on the bottom so we need more flesh here yeah so checking my finger yeah exactly so uh, we need to sort of make this more connected right so we need more I see, see, I see what's happening here. We need something like that, right? Uh, yeah, something like that. Much better now. Uh, still a bit strange, but at least we... Yeah, so we can push this down. Same here. This, this is very important, so we need to push this down. And yeah. So we start to get better shapes here then here this is maybe slightly exaggerated for the so here push down um, can also try to smooth okay so this will shrink so maybe we need Alright, so I think this is good, then more or less, yeah, should should work, should work, so also let's move this uh, face, ri uh, face ring, right, then here, let's uh, solve some things here, um, this can be more like that, this more centralized, let's smooth this a little smooth this also and the whole finger right just as we were doing before we need to sort of yeah it is sort and scale on the z-axis something like that push it down now it seems in a more or less good alignment with the hand and with uh, yeah so in respect to the other fingers maybe it's a bit too small so scale on all directions and that should be okay and now finally <laughs> I think this is good for the hand uh, yeah all the geometry there so barely touched any geom any mesh topology uh, yeah there's still some a hole there tem um buraco ali na topologia de malha uma área bem importante na verdade uh, essa parte aqui não está bem resolvida ainda, é verdade. So there are some part here that is uh, still a bit complicated. Uh, actually, actually, folks, this is a good idea, right? 
this is the mimic this is this equivalent here right a trigon so this is working already so this will be a collapsing geometry as this uh, the thumb gets uh, deformed so I need the proportional posing here on the right I cannot do anything properly uh, two big stuff here let's try to smooth this out we are not gonna see this collapsation effect I think unless we get some rigging so it's not for now uh, this trigon I want to solve and uh, is there anything else no so I think the thumb is nearly complete except for this with the last thing I'm gonna do and or maybe this one yes I need to solve this thing because here we have a face loop that well have many face loops right so the sol to solve that so I don't want to this go in this direction because yeah this creates extra geometry right so what are the candidates here uh, another solution perhaps hmm I'm thinking of something a bit crazy here folks so maybe I can try to collapse everything here and dissolve this so making these face loops more uh, safe here uh, okay and you are bizarre but one two three four five six I've seen some rigs that are using this kind of uh, six pole target this trilogy says uh, 50 minutes have passed let's uh, renew this because this is a live stream of one hour and a half maybe a bit more two hours will be excessive so I'm trying to to tentando manter dentro do limite de até duas horas no máximo so I'm giving this timer here folks uh, all right so this was an improvement I think because now this loop is better and this loop is better too and this one or maybe not I'm not sure but certainly this one is better now this one which comes from the side of the finger there while this one yeah this one is is luckier in the sense that is looping well and this one dies off in the the other one right dies off in that Trigon, uh, which collapses into from one of its vertices into this uh, suspicious six star pole. I think because this area shrinks, yes, it should be good. Uh, if I were to push this trigon, this trigon, yeah, somewhere else, yeah, could be complicated. Uh, why this is continuing looping? I have no idea. This was not like that. <laughs> so this is a very important loop, face loop, for the mesh topology of the hand, in my understanding. And uh, okay, there is an anomaly here, but the face loop, understand it continues while well, this one ends in here. So I think this will work, folks. Risky, but we'll see for rigging if uh, maybe that's, that's just fine, right? And one, two, three, four, five. That is a five star pole, and this is a six star pole. So all right, so the uh, it should work, should work. If then for the last challenge of the hand mesh topology, we just need to fix this face loop. Uh, the problem here is that I'm not sure what I want. So let's see some face loops here. Uh, that should work. But why didn't I complete it? Uh, just because I wanted something. I didn't like this idea of this thing going like that it sounds a bit strange uh, one idea that I have is perhaps to push this geometry back right like this 
and so from this new positioning a partir desse novo posicionamento da geometria uh, talvez mudar um pouco a a topologia de malha nessa parte uh, no entanto esse face loop tá, essa face loop está funcionando bem yeah except for this but this is good mostly good yeah there's no 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 there is some little detail here that is annoying let's try to push this like here yeah here oh there's a trigon here this is an opportunity folks where does this came from aha uh -huh. so maybe you have an answer here folks yes Ex oh i remember it's because i wanted this loop to be going around that just to do this if i let it open up se eu deixar isso livre para ir para outro lugar claro que vai resolver o problema mas não vai ter esse loop vem de meia volta so this is annoying that i didn't want to change but then how do i cross this thing right so currently this is not doing anything good except for this face loop here If I could cross, ah, you see that this is not going around the wrist, nor is this one. No, no, this this one is sort of. It's difficult to look here. Yes, it is going around the wrist, right, folks? So uh, this is important but that has the anomaly so what I can do perhaps I can command a crossing if I can get this one to go there I could perhaps fix some stuff so let's try some crazy things here um, yeah so let's ignore this delete these faces no, wait, what's that? Yeah, so this is a good one, sort of, and this one is the strange one. So we need to sort of... This is going nowhere, so we can sacrifice this for some other purpose. We can perhaps have it go... Uh, yeah. All right, so maybe this is not the place for it. We need to have something like, yeah, this is bizarre, but let me cut some stuff here. So what we get here, maybe it's not the best idea, but what I want is that is that I want to keep some, okay, it's sure I want to keep this one. Yeah, I'm struggling with the camera here. So I've destroyed that loop. But this is temporary. No, it's still there. Okay, it's still there. So this is interesting. Just added a subdivision here. And so this one goes into the hand. And here's a lonely one. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what is this. Uh, very crazy face loop, but that's fine. That seems to be acceptable. Uh, even though a bit chaotic, this is against my plans, <laughs> my original plans. But sometimes we, it's good to accept the, some crazy loops that are doing their job in some way, right? So. And from this condition, now that I have this, this is dying in this trigon, but we can delete the trigon. And then what I have, one, two, three, four, uh, yeah. So here is a, 
one, two, three, four, five. So it's a pentagon here. Pentagons are usually complicated, so this is bad news. <laughs> um, this means that I have a quad and a trigon. So I could give it a trigon. It dies off in a trigon. So the interesting thing here is that this trigon might mean some collapsing geometry in this uh, joint area, right? So this is not necessarily stupid. Um, this can actually one, two, three, four, five, five pole star. This will shrink. Uh, I don't know exactly what will collapse, but I imagine perhaps this or this will collapse into this, uh, whatever. Something will probably collapse here. And as you see, there is no star, triple star here there is here but there's not here so what this means is that these will tend to go up right like a mountain peak and this one will sort of shrink the sunk uh, as well as perhaps one two three four no this is just a Oh, this one will sunk. This is good. Yeah, we want this to sunk. Uh, and yeah, and then we have, right, so small smooth here. So I'm not sure this is a great idea, but interesting enough, interestingly enough, we got uh, more or less what we wanted in the end. We got this thing preserved, looping around itself with, uh, for some reason, two face loops here yes because of the the topo the mesh topology of the arm considering it's mesh, what is that oh i'm seeing from the character upside down <laughs> and this is the camera walk uh, movement of the is inverted so this is a bit i go up but it goes down and vice versa so but i i got used to it so Good, good. I think this is good enough. The mesh topology uh, is not well painted here. There's a long time I'm not touching the colors, uh, the model, right? This, this file, so that's... How do I get this walk thing back to normal? I'm not sure. Okay, maybe like that. Uh, let's try to... Yeah, and I uh, see there are some strange shapes overall. Here, I'm not sure why this shape is like that, it seems bad. Let's make some reshaping. Uh, sometimes it's good to take some distance from... Of course, I'm not looking at the model sheet, so this can be a mistake. But sometimes we take distancing from a project, an artistic project, often. And then when we go back to it and look on a refreshed view, we can find spot new solutions or new problems we have we might come back more prepared to to engage on certain aspects of the of the project uh, it's just that we might not be warmed up or very engaged in the beginning because yeah uh, so long not touching the project rusty a bit but we can still uh, visualize things that maybe before we weren't. So this is very good. Uh, I've heard that even for maths, mathematics, right? Well, it's actually probably an universal aspect of the mind. The unconscious, we learn even when we are not studying, right? So the tendency for that, right? So um, we can use this in, in our benefits. Apparently, I've, this, I've heard something that even the Egyptians have something like that. The pro a procrastination method. Like, you didn't have to solve everything in the same time moment. Like, you use purposely delayed the development, the conclusion of a task so that you could understand it better uh, by procrastination. And that would have something to do with the origin of the 
word procrastination including me but I'm not sure this information is accurate internet stuff you know so <laughs> but very interesting ancient Egyptians methods right uh, there's no reason also not to believe that this was fairly possible because uh, those ancient cultures everywhere world around they were incredible just like us they were human beings with some incredible feats and tricks of the trade and whatever you call it intelligent right they were as intelligent as us they just didn't have the technology the the opportunities that we have today at the same time uh, they they could work from their condition which was not poor condition right depending on the case right in some cases we are worse than <laughs> with all the technology we have we are hundred our kids get <laughs> uh, dumped down because of smartphones and screens and all that shit that uh, uh, wireless stuff that yeah very bad for learning for kids in the, the it's compared to more organic activities this is what I'm talking about there are studies about that concrete statistical studies investigative studies they see the development of kids how they get how this perturbs uh, perturbation yeah the their uh, learning process or make it different yeah uh, it's complicated so kids should usually try to stay out we should try to have the kids stay away from not everything that is digital but very very limited limit their time and access to those tools because it's uh, and it's very hard of course because kids uh, when they get fascinated about something they will do whatever in their hands to get <laughs> more of that <laughs> chaotic stuff folks if you know kids if you have kids you know what I'm talking about it's exactly like that uh, some kids are of course behave better than others are more uh, easy to handle they are more obedient or more sage <laughs> uh, are more careful maybe but yeah it's it's very difficult right both for the kids and for the adults to handle those stuff it's a big struggle to get and the problem is that those technologies are everywhere so it's not like you can just hide it then colleagues friend of them have have access what you do <laughs> while they don't have access how that goes right uh, something uh, there should be some uh, right and there are some great things about being tech savvy right uh, today right it's not all about bad things but certainly cannot do this mindlessly uh, if adults already get easily disrupted because of the digital era imagine kids right so yeah we talk of course about vices like internet learning uh, porn whatever games uh, in the bad sense right but games can be art form right can be a source of inspiration can be a source of uh, therapeutical <laughs> things right so uh, there are great things about game right games so it's not like oh no kids no games for kids never this is completely stupid right we are uh, it's just a question of making sure that it doesn't get out of control because okay if the kid doesn't have 
the game, a vicious game, maybe, okay, they, 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 they understand, yeah, okay, this game is not, it's cool, but can't play all the time, so, uh, you learn, you teach the kid, or the, help the kid learn to be more resilient about these crazy desires or cravings, right, uh, and then the kids will certainly, creative, will find something else to, another game, no, they'll find, uh, other things to have fun with, especially if they have friends, so kids, right? So, at least that that was my puck, it was like that. If we didn't have access to a computer game, no problem, we had Lego, the toy, right? We had lots of, we had the bike, we go in the street play, like whatever kids can do uh, invent their own games right <laughs> I even went to school uh, uh, influenced by digital games I've made cut out of piece of car carton uh, not that's, that's all uh, that uh, they use for boxes right this paper solid paper for boxes uh, and so I've made sort of a a, a giga control uh, gamepad, right? <laughs> With buttons, but the buttons are, were not real. They were all uh, made of this cartolin material, right? With glued and some, uh, yeah, uh, drawings to indicate the the buttons, right? And so, and and then I bring the character. I had to hide this from the teachers. They couldn't see that I was going to the playground, to the, to the, how do you say, the time where kids go to the recreation, uh, the, uh, how do you call that in English, folks, uh, the, translate, recreation, asobiba, no, this is Japanese, <laughs> why does this, doing this, uh, yeah, I, I'm studying Japanese, so, uh, yeah, English, okay, okay, I, uh, it's not willing to help me, playground, playground, okay, the playground is recreation, okay, recreation, yeah, Play playground for me was not recreation, it was, some, it was the area, like a park, not inside of school, but okay, the playground, so, uh, then the kids went to the playground, but I couldn't, the teachers couldn't see, as professors não podiam ver que eu tava, uh, levando essa, essa, esse pedaço de cartolina grande para pro recreio, porque eles iam me confiscar, não, não dava, tu tinha que ir com o que tu tivesse, talvez um lanche, alguma coisa, mas aquilo eles iam questionar e provavelmente iam me tirar, era uma escola rigorosa, tu as, uh, public school in Paris, so <laughs> very rigorous, like <laughs> nearly military, but we learn how to, not military, of course, but you know, it's very severe, very rigorous teachers, and but we learned with a very diverse ethnic uh, variety of people there, right, kids from everywhere out of the world, right, we learned a sort of respect, tolerance, through uh, all this rigid uh, control of everything from the part of the school, so there are some problems, right, of course, but uh, uh, to understand what world is that uh, must look for some classic reference Le Petit Nicolas <laughs> so, from a, a book and illustrated by Goscinny, so the kids, or is that? Yeah, so this one, this one, so very famous. Not, not the. I don't know what the rest is. This movie adaptation. No, I talk about this. Right? We have uh, the history of the kids. There are uh, some, yeah, comic stuff, and I just know very little about it. But I know it touched this, the, the spirit of what was to be a kid, usually in it's this sort of schools, I think, right? 
oppressive teachers. <laughs> All friends. It's like, uh, right. Uh, not exactly sure that was the case in Le Petit Nicola, but it, it's, it, I think it goes in that, that direction, right? Some fantasy and the uh, rigid structure of the school, which nonetheless gave this uh, common demo democratic place for things, adventures to happen inside the school, right? And, and some, uh, yeah, okay, hazardous things, so uh, whatever. And then, okay, so now let me go to the list, right? I need to check my list here. You, you'll be able to see that. So, hand mesh topology and fixed. Yeah, fixed. Oh, it was already fixed. Necromancer thematic. Oh, this is something I need to do today. So, we're gonna retake the model sheet because I've drew that, I've drawn those things weeks ago yeah as af just after i last time i have the session so we're gonna make retakes on the direct model sheet also having adaptation towards the uh what we have the 3d already yeah and we'll add clothes we'll be adding clothes and clean up to those things so and hair here yes i have a new hairstyle for this character so we're gonna make all that now. It shouldn't take a lot of time. So I, I believe I, I can solve this. The worst part in this for me will be the cleanup, folks. Cleaning up. Unless I find a great deal of solution for these annotations. Yeah, so unless... Yeah, let's do the shade smooth. It doesn't work because it's already shade smooth anyway. So what I need, maybe I can change here. Flat now this is bad. Uh, can I have changed it? What about studio and matcap? Matcap is a little better. Let's try change this maybe. Yeah, all this is very bad. This is the I just cannot get conformed with the the of course I have the subdivide modifier. Yes, this should help. Definitely. Uh, so here what I need is yeah this color, no not this color. Let's try something more neutral. Usually people use... Uh, yeah, something with softer light, more plastic light, so... No, th this is not... This is too... Uh, yes, so maybe... Yeah, this one I think is the best, so... Uh, there are many shapes here, of course, that aren't good. Uh, but overall, yeah, we have a good, not too bad impression from the bottom side. So this bottom view is uh, very bad for this face. This is where camera keys can be useful. Like as the camera looks from this angle, maybe I can shape key. There are correct shape keys that are adapt to the to something that look would look better. It's shape key, so it will be just some subtle morphs, right? And could make these shapes much better. Uh, and so um, we could, I could try to draw here an angle, right, from an angle, and see if I could, uh, yeah, uh, shape this morph according to the a uh, 2D. So this will be very, yeah, this is cheating, right? <laughs> the ideal thing is that I wouldn't need to do any of this to have uh, ideal angles from here. But this is a not very cool angle. And when the character gets here on eyes, uh, it should be better. Also, além disso, é claro que... Além disso, é claro que uh, tem umas coisas aqui que não estão muito legais. And there are, of course, some things here that aren't very cool right now. So, yeah, there's something that is not going well here. It was possible to see on the opposite side. Uh, maybe I need the... Let's check here. Of course, this maybe it's because of the...
yeah, I don't have an I rigs I rigs yet and uh, I leads match, so yeah, I can totally smooth out those things freely. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, maybe you don't understand why I'm talking, saying this, but this is because the kind of I rigs that I use, I leads rig, they use uh, shrink wrapping features and and the positioning of the eyelids must be very precise on top of the eye surface usually so i think yeah there's something weird going on here it's like this ah maybe i need to push this up it's like the chick right so there's some Mm hmm interesting fascinating as would say Spock so apparently there's something here that I oh, we can make this thing a bit more puffier here <laughs> and get some cool shape here like like you know uh, gonfle the the <laughs> the cheek is a bit like you see puffy it's it makes the the face a bit cuter right uh, on sort of like uh, more like muzzle shaped as this kind of character designs should be right so uh, this is really difficult to solve uh, because it's sort of in between right it's in between a muzzle and a <laughs> today I get this real if, if this can be done right properly I know it can because there are some pony 3d pony models that I have some reference that that are relatively successful in the direction but the, the still stylization is still not as middle term as what I'm doing here so yeah but they give great direction into this this kind of stuff here and this kind of stuff here and then from that kind of solution I probably can get things going here so here in the real question about here uh, that I'm having okay but what about the nose bridge what, what happens here right should, should this get just like this or should it keep yeah it, it's it's hard then the nose bridge is something that is higher but at the same time it cannot be Right, this chick cannot go like that because then it will be in the front of of the eye bri of the nose bridge, eye bridge, the, yeah, eye bridge, right? The eyes bridge, the nose bridge. So it's complicated to get this right, and then of course this shape is not good. Uh, of course, this is the for no, we have already the this thing. So yeah, so must be very careful here. We don't want to sacrifice the profile. But on the pure 2D shape, we don't see this this uh, thing that goes in that way that I'm building, right? So what could be is that perhaps I have in this idea maybe this could it should be high, but it should be more to the front. Uh, I need another view here, folks. So you might want view zone here. Okay? Para ver o que está acontecendo. So maybe if I keep pushing, let's see what happens. So it's pushing all this forward near the mouth, near the top of the mouth. And see if that it doesn't seem to be doing bad. It's very subtle, right? So nothing seems to be happening too much pushing forwards ah I'm making this more circular folks all right so yes so you see all this puffiness should never be something like 
doing like that it should go round uh, this will help also for the melt rig later this I know so you have a more circular thing for if the thief the arcades even the tongue with those but especially the th the gun the arcades right they need to move to the side and this is an advanced mouth rig folks <laughs> I'm not gonna mention just look for advanced no not advanced it's universal sonic mouth rig you know what I'm talking about the the arcades both top and bottom arcades of the thief and thief and gun they will rotate uh, yeah the even the top arcade is mobile it does it's not f glued to the skull as we for us so it, it, they can rotate inside of the mouth uh, to follow the orientation of where the mouth would be displaced from the center we can do that very exaggeratedly with this universal sonic mouth rig and this is quite quite expressive for the kind of facial expressive mount expressions that are gone for this card so okay uh, I'll try to implement this ultimately in the end of this character of course um, it's a bit complicated but there is documentation in some ways tutorial to solve it so it's not tutorial but yeah there is some documentation to fix it and some videos uh, so that can help so yeah, it still have problems here, but I think this is due to the... Yeah, seriously, I'm not sure what's happening here. Oh, I see. Okay, so this is what's happening here. This needs to be smoothed back more. And... Yeah, okay, better. Much better, much better. But still not good enough. We'll have to address the eye, uh, all that part inside the eye. Uh, later on, you have the eye. So mothership folks because i cannot stay uh fixing this forever so let's go directly for the model shit so what i'm gonna do here i'm not sure i'm gonna do today the any sort of cleanup of this for this retakes of the tree uh, i just will focus here on the essential and the essential for me usually for everyone usually the front view and the side view so i will focus on the essential and the essential generally é uma visão frontal, é uma visão lateral de perfil. Então, uh, we'll start with this. So, as we see here, so I use all my wits to solve this uh, in a in a future uh, advanced, a more leveled up so uh, 2D model sheet solution. This will be hard because we see it's more likely not even the 2D and the 3D are correct in what would be the ultimate 3D ad stylistic adaptation from 2D to 3D, right? So this means that I will need to find some uh, in between. In this case of many of the things here and this might mean that I should also later on reshape some of the 3d geometry but I'm not gonna do that totally unless there is something too weird so what I'm gonna do is that I'm really gonna take for granted that the shapes that I've got for the 3D, at least most of the 3D shapes, I are the ultimate solution, even though they aren't. So what I'm gonna do is that I pick this one, and I'm going to give it like front, yeah, front, yeah, front and something like that, right? So we can recognize. Uh, I have to redraw, so I try to do this in a better way. Uh, I need here some, yeah, I could use the same color, but let's do this different so that we can differentiate. And this time I want to be precise, so I need 
to see if there's any thing that there's stabilized stroke and uh, even though we don't really have the okay view I'm not sure this will be a good idea but whatever we have this uh, don't we have more options here apparently not so if I go here it seems that is quite limited stabilized oh there's radius and factor okay what is this this is from All right so is that I don't know what is that okay I don't know if this is related to uh, to the stabilize maybe no uh, it seems not so radius what is the radius I don't get it ah this is smoother with higher this is very smoother and slow and this is very fast so this is more likely it smooths a lot in my opinion and it's faster and uh, factor if I turn it off it looks like normal drawing right so yeah looks like as if there was known so we just want some ah aha uh -huh. yeah yeah baby <laughs> so this is the good stuff folks finally i've discovered <laughs> how to use this stabilized stroke for annotations ha this will help a lot of course annotations are horrible for uh backup right use grease pencil we're gonna i'm gonna convert this later but for now we fix that horrible thing okay so this is a new character design so i don't need exactly these eyes here i'm gonna yeah so but i want to adapt nonetheless so it's badly shaped the 3d eyes I, it was very incomplete so let me try to get this approximated right so yeah so I'm gonna make this line uh, we can try to respect some of the curves there but I must remember yeah the eyes the 3d eyes were very bad actually we didn't we it, it lost it lost lot they lost a lot of precision because we didn't pay attention to it right so um, I should here be more into the 2d so we're gonna revise that yeah so this is more like an exception so the nose here we can take this position for the nose yeah we can I'm not gonna delete that yet because it's good to compare right then the mouth we see that the mouth is actually for the 3d model the mouth actually was very bad to be there also you notice that because the no when nose went down uh, the mouth also had to go down but in different proportions so this is strange but so for the mouth we want a neutral mouth even for the and so that means that it will have like this kind of shape and because we want yeah we, we need a regular mouth so there's no mystery here it's yeah we could shape according to the curvature of the face but i'm not sure this will provide better regularity for the mouth so we want really the corners can be sharper but we want this so there's not big deal here so i'm respecting what we've got from the 3d here we also hold on i'm gonna save and i'm going to get let's oh let's save this before we 
accidentally lose this will be tragic all right so uh, what we need here is to lock the model why I have not this thing by default okay so hi I'm gonna hide not hide just lock right so I cannot select and this stops being annoying so now we can see better also and we don't risk to make a wrong selection so here I'm shaping according to the 3d model the mirror modifier is working so it will so here I make sort of an adaptation middle thing something like here and here we continue right so because I think the 3d is a bit wrong here here this seems to be fine here we could yeah this yeah here this is maybe wrong we can push the skull up here this should not be incorrect and so oh what's happening here oh no is this view ah I see so does that mean I, I uh, this is why I never used that so I, I think we've lost I've lost the <laughs> yeah I think I've lost the well we can try to get it back to place as very unfortunate I think this is irreversible now it was draw in this in the plane so pff, yeah my bad <laughs> so let's okay let's do faster that we just so the idea here is that this will right oh well, sorry folks uh, I never used that so I just thought that would be the idea but I was wrong that was very incorrect probably for what we want we'll try to I have already the idea so it's faster to solve this thing um, yeah but we want good shapes no, nonetheless so we cannot do any way here we need to be precise enough so yeah this can be very bold this part um, all right yeah can do this too already the nose was here yes the tip of the nose the mouth is just very a regular thing it doesn't matter it's just more aligned to that we know this is more important though so needs to be so apparently at least this line we got seems we got very good in the 3d here I want to make this sort of retake in the 3d from here and here we get because this character design is a bit sharp and here there's some doubt about the shape of the skull and this is where I've stopped so the skull is higher should be because I want to keep the proportions right for that and then uh, yeah the skull shouldn't go like that right this unless it really looks bad this way so um, it should have some sort of to my understanding some sort of more sharp corner here not corner but yeah it should have some sort of thing that then will go so this is already very badly sketchy uh, so let's try to redo this so the, it's very subtle it's hard uh, yeah because here's the central line so what's happening here I uh, got it so this needs to be deeper into the flesh here let's say then this goes here in this extremity 
and then we get something like that but it's very squarey right now so it will be something like that the problem is that yeah if I want I cannot have I might have to do something that let's see what's happening really the center of the circle would be here but technically because this is a school I want it to be here ah I see uh, so maybe this is the mistake yeah so maybe because of the school and the yeah so maybe this is supposed to go larger than this is not, it's not something that I've considered and then this goes so actually the circle it will never do like as I yeah as it will never do like this uh, where it is the circle of the head is not conforming exactly to the circle of the skull the circle of the head is just a reference because the skull have its own shape and it's different right folks so uh, makes sense uh, this could be a mistake but I think this is more correct I see now that why I perhaps was having some difficulty shaping this part of the skull because I, I was trying to conform the skull shape to the original circle that was completely stupid because it, this original circle is just a generic reference besides the fact that the eyes of this character are not placed in the middle so maybe another reason I'm not sure about the eyes problematic but then here let's try to okay more time has passed but we are here in a very important topic so uh, I cannot I must give myself more time and that should be the last extra time for today I want to finish this before 50 but if it if I reach 50 if any reason for any reason I, re I reach 50 and have not completed this maybe I'll have to stop it'll depend on my condition and how much it lacks to complete but I think it's totally feasible we can complete this thing folks before 50 minutes uh, I'm warming up also right so here that should be good for the face uh, not bothering too much on the other side side so let's shape here uh, here I think this is a mistake the we need to reshape this part here more muscle more flesh here uh, and less less flesh here for the for the neck here we can get this uh, collarbone clavicula uh, but here yes here certainly there is problems there are problems uh, here the shoulder is more or less okay in the 3d this is very good actually at least from this angle here we have problems yeah uh, so uh, let's try to get yeah now I'm getting sketchy again so must be careful uh, I see that I've lost some of the shapes here the volume for this part and so this is the it's too dark here also so I'm conforming more the 3d to the the, the 2d to, for the 3d for the body yes so um, this will be um, our uh, approach here for this better yeah now here I need to change the settings here because for the stabilizer okay where is the yeah okay I've changed it must be on the this tool right so let's augment the factor these are very hard lines to control right yeah those things 
too long and too difficult to shape like that so in a single stroke in I hate those graphic palettes and <laughs> I, I I'm kidding uh, I love them but the possibility they offer is great I just find this is too much Uh, I can draw fluidly with them usually. The problem is that model sheets plus <laughs> graphic palettes, yeah, nightmare. All right, but we, it's much better than the other character design, as you can see the blue below, right? So there's no doubt this is a better version, provide the shapes are not ridiculous. I'm having some problems with the lights, so I'm gonna sweep, swap to this to make sure that I'm getting the right profiles. Let's keep saving. Uh, we see that the knee here is a bit strange. The sh yeah, I need to reduce a bit, a bit there, that part, and here you can say that's okay the the thickness but we can always solve so I'm not gonna bother much with that uh, this option is ruining my erasing tool no here it is so I don't know what happened Ah, we have some problem in the foot, so this is up, okay, so uh, now I don't need all that, so maybe here sub, uh, thinner, alright, so I get this, this is up, this is more to the downside, and then we can get these shapes here. Uh, these shapes here, uh, this, yeah, and then this goes up like that, yeah, it can go that way. Now, I don't need to exaggerate this line, so just like this, and just try to, yeah, the, the frontal here is really difficult to draw that. Yeah, this is really, really difficult to draw this foreshortening. Especially because I'm not sure even what the character is wearing, so I'm trying to abstract here a little. Will be simple. Actually, this is not even the cloth model sheet, right, folks? So I need a body model sheet and I need a cloth model sheet. Das roupas, model sheet, das roupas, the corpus das roupas. So that means that uh, this is just one of the that I'm making and we are nearly complete right for this oh the eye of course let's try to okay so here uh, at the positioning of this eye iris pupil pupil I think centralized up it's a bit sketchy uh, where it should be let's accept this paint this and maybe more here more eyelashes here bolder eyelashes even though I'm not really sure I'm gonna model eyelashes like that uh, for this card never did hmm. thinking about so she should have also bold bottom eyelash not necessarily but very bold top eyelash all right, uh, let me check my reference here for the, okay, the claws, oh, she, yeah, the here is funny, and the claws are sort of sexy witch. Yes, so, uh, no time for the model sheet of the clothes for this time, I think. It's already too long, I'm a bit tired already, but we'll see, I don't yeah 
it will depend of my mood <laughs> uh, so here I would like to finish all the model sheets in these retakes so it will be very clean right for the next session we go directly for the eyes Uh, so here uh, I see that yeah the, the don't mind the, the the mesh is very bad for the forearm and also for the arm so this is very bad reference uh, the 2d was also very bad so here let's again why I'm using this solution let's give something better right so let's try to get the idea of those muscles and flesh uh, maybe this is too much something like that so it's not like the the thickness of the upper arm was wrong it's just that some shapes it's, it's wrong on some areas here we want uh, some for the yeah here is a lot of confusion so here I need this to go down so it will be something like that this is too much we'll try to get this needs to be a continuum here and then we try to get something like that not very bad Uh, terrible ah this is more like this so, uh, stylized right so we need to do something like that right so this curve here should be a bit like that uh, this might be a bit too much yeah this is this better and so this will help me yeah so here something pointy like that all right all right so we can zoom in to get this better at this point this is still too bad not feel this is not smoothing nearly horizontal stroking ah the hand reposition the hand what this thumb is doing pointing <laughs> ah this this uh, okay I see what's happening so this is pointing up we don't want that we want the hand pointing forward the fingers are correct but since I've all right so it seems that a bit displaced so we're gonna yes the f the thumb relaxed it it's not straight it falls down so it's something like that yeah uh, of course this is horrible but uh, try to stylize it's it's for shortening right so it's hard but the idea is simple uh, so the f the thumb should be relaxed but it's foreshortening so it's like it that's why it's not just uh, it goes diagonally downwards and here the fingers they tend to so the palm of the hand would come from here sort of and they would go then those fingers there's a shape here that will start doing this and then they will do like this yeah all right now we have uh, better and so the knuckles they are about here 
and yeah this I'm not gonna care but just to mark some uh, so yeah we need this yeah this bulk here that is important this mess here and this go going down right so yeah I don't have to care much about the details here but there we go so um, oh again I'm making the mistake about the the joints of the thumb <laughs> they are foreshortening here there are three joints so this is also critical mistakes I, yeah this is uh, it'll be something like here right so so yeah provide we got the contour and for shortening that should be enough I had it now I don't have it anymore uh, the problem was just here uh, having the contour with already this I've structured to the mesh topology those uh, those joints of the thumb so the contour here is what matters really I don't need to draw redraw this even though because even because anyways I I don't have the direct immediate reference for the no I think I've closed my blender with some stupid comment that I don't know what was it And it or it uh, it was a bug and it crashed. Recover. Uh, all right. Uh, oh, um, but all the arm. Yeah. all the arm well yeah just the arm the hand okay let's do this faster so here I don't know what I did folks sorry uh, life happens <laughs> so we need to uh, get this back let's try to get this thing yeah then here I'm gonna the memory of the solutions this helps a lot because the problem is that with so much crossing references sometimes you just don't know what is you need to test out some things at least me right on this mother shit madness and yeah uh, these here and then okay let's hope this time I can get a better no can never get a better contour but the idea was going better for the hand so this must go straighter and then Yeah, so and the knuckles would be Yeah, this is ball here is ridiculous because the ball is will be on the top, right? Not but I continue here to so you can see how much space they should occupy on the top of the hand. And this goes up and then the fingers go down in some they start to shrink in volume as they go for so a stylized way to to map this out. Same for the for the thumb right we can do that so this will help in understanding what's so we can make this loop here and yeah then again the for shortening that is complicated that all right all right so and also this the phalanx this can help all right even though we're not sure if that will be the appropriate thing i think the proportion to the 3d here is accurate enough 
So now, oh yes, of course, uh, we need some other shapes here that are not very good in the 3D model. And so these references should be uh, important right now, but I'm not sure I'm getting them uh, so from this yeah so I think that will be like that this can be rounder yes this can be and this could be more to the side actually and opens up um, fine I think this is acceptable uh, I have the possibility of doing that but this is actually something else this will be like a line that forms on the joint as the type deform it's not necessarily the same thing that this would be here which will be like the the belly right uh, so we could perceive that there are some muscles here abdominal muscles uh, I could try to draw them right for so usually this one is bigger then it starts to ah, that was a long time I don't draw those things but usually uh, it will be something like that right yeah more or less like that so I'm not gonna do anything here because it will just be a ball right uh, sphere, uh, <laughs> a ball it's I got the idea it's the belly it's just round and here is what matters is those areas here need to be more and here I don't really have a good model sheet here for what will happen on the hips yeah this is uh, unfortunately the all those things are confusing me so let's try to deconfuse all that yeah I see this is very bad so let's try to yeah uh, so curvy first and then perhaps um, yeah I think we'll be here we have one of course there are bony things here but this can still be curvy here is where probably I would like to have the this uh, the top of the hips bone so it will be somewhere like here the all the at least here we can see already that what's that doing so that one right the joint here although for yeah so here we'll have this kind of stuff and here and have another one so this is the place probably around here maybe more to the top because this is stylized right this is uh, so I think this is more or less accurate yeah too much blurry but probably still better than what you have before yeah certainly so uh, with that we can return here we see that here I need to expand a little the mesh here and uh, yeah and here too it's just too thin there according to the possibilities of this uh, character and here okay we also need to reshape the boobs here the breast region and that uh, so it will be the nipples pointing in that direction maybe yeah more likely but this is a stylization actually they could go more to the the center so the important thing is that I'm making them more rounder here than but uh, but this is simplification and so here we could try just to visualize where this could go yeah something like that so this is no no this is wrong so yeah this is not exactly a line that I'm gonna use this is the line that but this is just to give some direction of some parts of the yeah just some 
just as this this is very important and here we can also now we shouldn't do that but uh, here we see a problem is that this maybe needs not to go up like this, this is bad actually the color bone must go here so it's like inside the this muscle here so it's start to, yeah this area is very pretty confusing so uh, the deltoid muscles so that is good yes so I must try to keep this color bone in a, an appropriate height and development here it can't go anywhere maybe it's a bit too high here we see that there are some sh shapes forming uh, this can be high but there's some yeah because she has already the shoulders leverage in the, in this rest what would be a rest position uh, it might be okay, normal that these things go a little more up so might not be surprising so here I'm not gonna bother too much about what will happen here I actually I'm not sure because yeah the shape the pose is a bit extreme already but I think this let's try to see to this stylized shape on a model sheet yeah it's really <laughs> annoying uh, but um, maybe we get this like that and then this yeah this needs to go somewhere maybe just needed more a bit more space here but it will go Let's see what it does yes there are some connections there with other bones that are yeah for shortening so that, that's why this is a mess <laughs> a lot of stuff there in the joint so I think this is good enough but is that centralized I'm not sure but we see more or less where it should be this this uh, the color bone so that that's enough for me uh, in this stylized character if I can get this shape here on the color bone on this area and get the the muscle salient here the altoid salient in some way that the shading here is bad so it's the geometry that is still bad here need to boost these muscles in some way that will look better uh, yeah so that will be. and also here uh, I think I'm lacking some structure here for the for the the thoracic cage so we're gonna try to pay attention to that and that should be it for the oh no 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 there's the hair uh, should I make the hair as part of this it's annoying because if I keep drawing the hair like crazy uh, it's very bad if I make some mistakes it will be wiser to keep the uh, hair as a front hair yeah so yes I'll keep the hair as something else so that if I need to retake the hair, I don't disrupt the rat or parts, right folks? So here, I can already hide this. I can, no, I'm not going to hide this, but I would like to lock this one, but no need to lock. It's locked as long as this is not, this is the selection. Uh, agora eu não preciso prestar atenção no modelo anterior porque o, o model sheet do cabelo é do, do penteado é completamente diferente. So it will be now this color is bad. Let's get something like that maybe. Okay this this color to start with okay that is good to visualize. So it will be uh, 
push this forward we can augment this also yeah good good <laughs> ah this is more like so yeah a lot of things we improved in the workflow with this thing so so basically she has some bold strength more or less bold strengths here you see i can erase imagine if this was the same it will be tra disastrous unbearable yeah so we made the right choice for once so here more strengths uh, I'm looking at the drawing, but I cannot show you. It's on paper. And camera is too bad to... Will be too much work to show it on camera this time. Maybe in the future. Alright, now this is more like that. Uh, let's get this thing more... So... For the hair, maybe this is better, right? Still not able to get this shape. Yes, because my model shit, anyways. Now the drawing that I have is not a front view pure, so it's much easier to get good, good drawing. So here, yeah, not exact, but yeah, good idea, good idea. This, <laughs> but it's not exactly how it is. I think it's more. Well, that kind of works then something here would be I don't know like that yeah this can be symmetrical or not doesn't really matter so uh, yeah, I'm not sure this part is like that this is always hard for me to figure out okay let's keep it like that or maybe under this one yes under this one maybe better uh, this part is really not very important for me right now then yeah uh, here okay this is in front same here well I'm not gonna draw here because it's yeah just this uh, I don't want to pass over that line to avoid confusions here I want this and the other side yeah this can probably yeah we want some so what's happening is that the top they start to it's like they are going from some center here yeah so got the idea so somewhere it splits from the center these characters here uh, it's just that the orientations here are a bit weird there's some flow in this direction not the best here developments but it's starting to shape well enough yes start to work uh, this one goes beyond the eye so i see why this one is yeah it goes something like that and it's a bit bulgier there it's curvy like a moon more like a moon so that's good and that okay this one is exaggerated i think it's i am not sure about that one but the others okay this one maybe this one goes more like doesn't need to be symmetric but yeah it more should probably go more and then yeah those are still strange i think what actually happens is that this is more curvy like that and so we have something like that so and then finally <laughs> why she has this separation in the middle because of this <laughs> uh it's hard to see exactly these are not cat ears or something like that these are really it's some fancy hairstyle that then this is a stylization of course uh, I am not sure how I'm gonna handle these ones but something like that right just we got the idea <laughs> so the, there you go this is a hairstyle much better than whatever we had before but it's just a mess chaotic thing 
and uh, I think the time is finishing folks I think I have 17 minutes I can probably do the side uh, the side view as we see uh, if we combine the 3d with the new 2d it's kind of yeah it's much better to see stuff like that right so when I retake geometry in the very uh, later on if I yeah probably need to revision of the 3d geometry then I can probably uh, make those refinements and probably I'll be using the model this advanced more advanced model sheet for other similar models right so it's a good idea to have this very very worked out uh, as best as possible according to the possibilities so uh, side I go to the side of course and well <laughs> yeah so we are going to hide this uh, I'm tempted not to hide this right now and I'll explain why eu vou tentar não esconder isso aqui agora porque vou explicar na verdade porque uh, so new this is side 2 no side like that so uh, I've made changes here right that are not, com not conform to the 2d to the 3d and sometimes not even for the for the no bo bolt not conform to bolt and so this is why I need the reference yeah this will be hard harder because I need to match yeah again this very very annoying problem and I think I got it this time manually visually we can get yeah I knew it that would cause problem but we we can get this not ideal precision but that should get the job done right so here the problem is that uh, I don't have visualization here I need this doesn't help too well it helps but I cannot see through I, and even I try need more zoom this is very very annoying but at least I know that here I have a memory that why I cannot draw here oh I can so I have the memory so it's safe uh, in principle I have the memory that oh this is of course this is why I cannot draw Uh, I had the memory, I have the memory that this tip is respecting. So the side view is working from here. That's okay. The, it will be annoying to see that, but this is not a problem. We can displace this later when it becomes convert to a grease pencil object. Because uh, right now I, I'm not sure why I'm drawing here makes no sense to me yeah but doesn't matter so I know this is respectful to the height of the true model 3d model so I can start from there and then the rest here I want to conform the mouth I don't see the mouth and this is hard I can see I want I don't want to change the zoom though but we can see the mouth starts from this yeah it's matched here we can see and it has this sort of orientation uh, this is wrong so maybe here I want to adapt to the okay we'll this too sketchy and I cannot see very well let's reduce its opacity and see whatever we can yeah this is better 
So here the shapes of the, the 3D shapes are probably not good. And the mouth is terrible, of course. And I don't want to change the zoom, so this is a problem. I must signify to the Blender team that this is a. Yeah, we have problem, folks. UI dif limitations here. Uh, here, what's happening here? It seems very wrong. Okay, but I'm trying to respect the 3D. This angle is too strange. I think this should go up. Yeah, it feels like that uh, orientation is bad. Uh, it could be that the neck is also bad. So here we have impressions that things are not going very well for the character in the 3D shape, right? So here we can cut this part here, it seems very bad. This is the excessive part, this is uh, extrusion of the skull backward for this character, this is correct. Here we need to push up here, so this is also an incorrection. Here this should be enough. Um, Maybe this must go down more like that. Okay, let's. Uh, shouldn't it go more? No, more would be. We have one, two. One, two was my memory here. So we're getting too sketchy again because here, there's a two curve. Big curves require more stabilizing power yeah this is let's get used to this here also still using the same maybe even more stabilizing so here the fr forehead is a bit tricky so um, I've never used too much because uh, usually I draw yeah you see it's too much it can be more forward right because the always i draw the carriage with a lot of hair in this that is falling so i don't need always to draw all this profile all the time with perfection into this so artwork so uh this is why maybe now i'm struggling to and of course it's to the it's the oh i make a mistake this is not the center of the head it's here <laughs> so that's what was going wrong here i knew something was so i've drawn this new one also it was displaced so i need to yeah welcome to annotations <laughs> uh and some limitations i cannot move them by selecting the vertices hope they allow this to be more powerful later or they integrate it with grace pencil that would be great because they are redundant things right sort of uh, all right this is just sort of a cleaning up stuff so Never mind, this is not really important. So this is important. And I need... I cannot get... This is even worse. Alright, this uh, can help. What did I erase there? I didn't see. But... Yeah, this is broken. This can't work. So ah, this is much better. All right. So tiny details, less, less. Yeah, that's my opinion. How I'm here. I've displaced totally this thing. So the eyes. I remember this is complicated. So this will be okay. The sides. You see that the eye, as we were shaping, they were completely displayed. So you need to 
it's like to I need to rememorize what will be the original one but with adaptations right folks so here this comes right from here right so this will be like where the eyes go they go up here to the sides and then this can have some sort of well the eyes of this character they can be more like this and yes so let's try this and the lowest part more to the cent more to the inside that goes along here here somewhere here yeah more or less like here and the inner part is is more closer to here than to here so somewhere like here and that should do then for the iris I don't really care but it will be something like this I believe then this yeah drag down here this will adapt this is easy to, uh, to shape just need some yeah more or less like this so this is not the eyebrow is easy to model so you don't need to care much about it so I'm concerned about that part though yeah so here we have okay this curve seems good uh, seems a bit displaced but we know we see some motion here some dynamics here so in principle this should be the oh, I forgot to draw the ear right it's gonna be very the yeah totally forgot about the ear folks so uh, maybe this will be a matter of retakes I don't have a good reference on the 3D on the 2D nowhere I <laughs> should have been more careful about that so I really don't know with all this mess let's see let's try to get the ideal no this seems to be too she's too angry here so let's get more like that yeah a bit better slightly better oh i see where i erase so i think the mouth is slightly open we like that the, the profile of the mouth is very bad this will be critical for some of the later modeling and this is a bit bad too thing i've exaggerated here yeah this is more like like this right so yes this is more special it's not any sort of curvature here but it's very no it's very cannot have this profile it's um, yeah it's too exaggerated yeah this is for 3d i think that should work for 2d no not enough but for 3d i think that might be better and should be good enough for a model sheet but here maybe there's too much yes uh improved improved all right then the ear right so let's check this you see that the ear on this character yes so this would be so i see it needs to be yeah um yeah i'll have to redo the ear for the front we can do it the problem is okay let's try um, usually the ear of this car i'm remembering the proportion is near the in the height of the height of the eyebrow and the bottom wise it will be yeah around here so that's more or less okay i won't bother more than that and then from the front for the front uh, that will mean the eyebrow uh, there's 
falling 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 so it's somewhere like here it's going too far ahead so it, in my opinion so here this one will connect from the third here yeah so it's nearly here nearly where it was yeah you can go a bit like that and then here this is the third yeah so it will uh, get off from here and then connect there there you go so yeah so we see where it is bad in the 3d it was slightly distorted uh, yeah especially on that uh, thing so here if I were to hide this yeah very acceptable yeah good 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 uh, a bit blurry here but this doesn't matter this is foreshortening so this is very difficult anyways to represent in 2d there's n with those single strokes right without shading for 2d right and so for the rest of the body yes so the, for the rest of the body we'll have to have more attention now the arm will forget because nothing to do about it from this angle so we just have to uh, nothing that I know it will be there's too for much for shortening uh, doesn't worth the effort yes we can see that the shape of the hand but this we can see it solved directly in 3d and this is or orthographic vision so it's probably a bad idea to work from this so here uh, there's a lot of foreshortening and other stuff near the shoulder so this is very complicated so instead I'm just going for the major curves here and try to get oh, more the time so okay I'm not going for the clothes don't worry I'm not going to to reach another 50 minutes for this session I just want to finish this side model sheet for the body but the clothes model sheet will address later oh actually let's see that yes we see where it, where it went wrong uh, yeah this is very bad so I think the curve here is going very wrong here this needs to be like that and then the connection here and so also here lots of problems here we can yeah try to shape this flat here mostly except for no this is not helping that's too much radius I cannot control the the line on subtle tr strokes so this is very bad here I'm gonna make straight because I'm more concerned here about the thoracic cage let's push these shapes here uh, no this is too strong cannot see anything let's try to ah, this maybe helps we see that the model is okay I don't know how to erase on this okay uh, I'm have some locking things I cannot draw in this one for some reason did I what is this active layer index make the layer display in front of objects um, oh I see yeah no 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 so for some reason I cannot yeah I don't want to draw here anyway so what I'm why am I complaining so what I need is to yeah I needed to I want to see that that shape there yeah 
Okay, so we see Okay, so I'm gonna take this, but Yeah, we see there's a problem here. So the shapes here are very, very uninteresting from the side view. And that, of course, is affecting all the composition for the back part and for the belly and whatever. So the nostril is fundamental here. Let's see what we can get about this. The height of the, of the crotch also. Uh, okay, this is matching. So here we have that is the third. It is matching, but it should be around here, more to the front. Okay, so this is good. Then here we know that this should be. We don't have a back view for. Well, I'm not going to do a back view for this clean up version, cleaned up version. So uh, I could, I can, but if I do that. Uh, maybe I won't live stream that because I've already made it to start with, right? So at least I have some vision of the character design for the others. So I don't need that unless if I really wanted to. I want also to do that to demonstrate, right? Stuff that we can do. So ideally, yes, I would finish. For everything but for here just the side view right so yeah this is very hard uh, I don't everything feels wrong here it's model shit madness everything whatever I do something I cannot see the entire model so and also this seems wrong why I cannot yeah, here? All right, so let's use some now. Too much. So here, yeah, this helps, but it's still frustrating. But okay. Um, okay, this one is easier. Or I was lucky. Or is the correct set setups for for each case, right? We get used to that and and of course it's warm up. Uh, the side, the foot. Yeah, this foot seems very wrong. The I always get it wrong, so I'm not. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother about the details of the foot. I'll just try to get the right main idea. So, one thing that still is important for the foot is to match those ankles. The the bony side bony things so you're seeing the side it's already appearing in the 3d so it is matching here so it was be here so around here right so we want this shape to be salient and in the model sheet we want it to be we want to know its geography right and here this seems very very wrong the, the way this is working <laughs> uh, yeah the this is absolutely miserable <laughs> so actually I think this this should be like more like this there's sort of lacking some mass here on the sole of the foot, I feel like this should be 
much closer to the bottom yeah yeah so there's some very wrong things going on here and it, of course this is a stylized model but the idea <laughs> is that this should be much closer to the to the bottom and I can't figure out how to solve this especially not in a 3d model shit using this table graphic table so they are back here to some very miserable <laughs> solution but something uh, in the 3d by I can do this I can solve this in the 3d right it's just that in 2d it just looks terrible from this simply yeah uh, so I cannot solve this right now it doesn't matter let's see how I did the other yeah it was nearly as bad as this is it was still had a better shape though <laughs> yeah the shape seems better it's more triangular we see here the volume much beautiful much more beautiful this is just a bit displaced here like cut off from the sheen but otherwise the shape is much more stylized this is the way to go what I have here is that it's not tilted enough you see how it goes back here interesting motion even though exaggerated of course I can get this more subtle uh, not like that but uh, yeah there you got it there are there are, there is ways to subtle is very subtle right so yeah so stylistically we can do that and and get stuff much better uh, there's this is way more complicated than I'm doing because actually there is the problem of the heel this character is uh, you uh, stands usually on some high not necessarily high heel but you get the idea and then this is a pose that is not yeah this is maybe f flat foot uh, but meaning no heels at all but uh, yeah there are many interest interesting solutions to make that adjustable character then like yeah I know some solutions so maybe I can make this in this character making it's already way longer than I thought that I wanted in the origin so yeah so we're getting some yeah improvement yeah I think that was better now looks more like a foot now but I've lost that reference Yeah, I lost that reference. But I have the memory that it was about here and okay. And anyways, uh, I can try to... Yeah, it looks much better now. Yeah, yeah, even though it's like the foot is like turned outwards slightly because of this angle, but might be just a... It's subtle. And it's not like the model sheet cannot have the foot like that. It's not the front view I didn't. So this is probably a mistake, but who cares? Uh, the drawing looks good. We can try to play without and then erase this, make like this. The, the foot is slightly rotated outwards, but this is bad for regularity of the rig, the bone stuff, calculations, right? So complicated stuff, so this will be the optimal and this is just a model sheet mistake so uh, now for the end of this we don't need that I will the end of the front and side model sheet there's just the hair that I need to set so I just need this simple hair well stylized hair to get made for the side so it goes on the front so side here I at symbol here we can get some bluish why not so 
let's get some what was the six okay six heavy bold stuff um the hair yes this is complicated oh i forgot the the breast region i forgot lots of things here details let's go back folks need to work on that so side and model and so here it will be difficult because we need to uh, address yeah, this yeah proportion so here yeah bad location because it doesn't match the grid the mini grid but okay so I said I, I was making them rounder here on the top two to facilitate drawing the, that and so we're gonna do it and so here could go yeah like that so here we can try to match here but we're not caring too much about this it will be very difficult here to get no not very difficult it's just annoying to get like the cylinder of the arm would be going from yeah something like that right at least from top and bottom that will be then the the it could be more or less symmetrical so it will be something like that right then it becomes easier to match whatever the armpit could be somewhere like here therefore and yeah it enters in the arm so the area the concavity so we can try to express this idea from this and same here uh, something here from the trapezium or some muscles of the of the back there uh, could uh, probably help in here like like this thing right because the shoulder they push the flesh they've pushed the skin from the back and from the front and this is why uh, there are muscles involved pectoralis uh, trapezium whatever and this is why the boobs the breast they also are uh, elevated slightly with the uh, movement of the shoulder and the arm so uh, this is very important to do in anatomy drawing figure human figure drawing whatever uh, this might be not very accurate in lines, but they get the idea done so that that is good enough. Uh, and here I need to shape this. Yeah, this won't be very accurate, but whatever. Uh, I just want to complete this. We can reuse some ideas here. This very important. Okay, so I need to express this. here so it will be more or less here right so maybe this is about to go like that yes so I think this was the intention I'm not sure actually here what this all stuff referencing is maybe it, it's because this goes above that Mm. yes could be could be confusing but what I want is at least to match that thing it should be here I believe so that what's matter at least it is on this in this height so I'm gonna mark like that uh, for now let's do this and after I can decide about the details and so what's left is that yes the nostril 
I need to match it another very critical thing I hope that at this point finally I would have gotten a correct height of those features so that the nostril itself as a marking spot uh, landmark for knowing the positioning of things is also um, won't have to reposition it right so so it will be like here okay more or less like there yeah so looks good enough for me and that would be that oh there's also here we could also consider some of the thoracic cage and that's good enough and so I must be careful about those curves here so I need to yeah this was a mistake too much mesh uh, it's uh, retracting on areas that uh, regions that shouldn't okay so hair folks now finally for the hair this uh, the hair doesn't need to be super precise uh, I know more or less yeah no actually to have a good job for the hair we actually would require some precision this is time consuming so but after all this it will be bad if I just uh, stop I nearly finishing folks so I cannot do carelessly so we need to need more of concentration so this mesh comes from the front so this might be a reason why I should maybe pass through the the ear here so this can be bold like here and it will end here uh, out or I don't know but we can try this okay that should work then this goes like that then this one in the front we can follow some ideas there but not totally okay height of this one we can change this slightly so this to the front tends to go inwardly so to the I mean to this to the left side so see so in front of the eye something like that second one so this will be sort of in front from the view we are having here it's higher so it comes maybe here and I leave the tray that's the tracing there but here this one also is in front of the eye in this height here and yeah you see this is very very helpful to draw here in that way those mesh so of course this is a bit bizarre here I didn't like this shape but it's more or less like that we can in the 3d we can finally see how it is doing how it is faring so here the last one here that this goes in front of the ear apparently yes it actually is a side one but it goes like uh, I don't like this line here so we're gonna try to avoid it but yeah it should be something like that and it uh, go inside there or whatever then of course there is the scalp that I haven't cared too much about doing actually even I made a mistake here that there's no scalp and that the hair exactly is too close to the skull where actually the skull yeah so this is bad I will have to reposition that before modeling so I have to convert this to grease pencil move this up because the skull in the model is more up you see that the line here of the circle of the skull on the top the hair is inside right so this is uh, wrong I took the mesh which is shrinked here for some reason so let's try to yeah I, I'll keep doing as if I was doing wrong so whatever uh, I'll have to adapt so unfortunately we we'll have to so here I'm gonna just make this side uh, the last one let's imagine it will end up here 
and so here this will be, be this one somewhere like here yes so this will be another and that's like that we can have that this is like uh, I don't know goes like that and we can have more organization there doesn't matter um, how those things were organized we can later develop more hair strands for this region here we don't need to drive it everything so here finally then there is the other sides which from this angle unfortunately we're not gonna see really and it could be quite hard to find them uh, if I maybe build that it will be I don't know yeah could appear here but it's like not very practical and this one yeah it might be going to the side so it might not even appear here right in front of the ear but to the side so it would be maybe like here so we won't see it anyways and then this now this is a bit challenging because I don't know exactly their orientation I don't know how we call those things <laughs> in whatever language I forgot <laughs> so here they are slightly more in the back of the scalp than in the center exactly so it would be so if the center is here these uh, they would be like displaced like here and they are also circular so there's some ovaloid shape here uh, that will be their base so you can already use this as a reference and we need the the top part and they since they are oriented back it will be like they are being like going like that uh, they need to be like bold so uh, I made the so here the orientation doesn't match matter so we get this sense here and that's enough and since it, they are more, lar more likely symmetric and it's a orthographic view the other will simply not show it will be stacking in the same right area so we don't have to care about the other so that will be like that and okay so it was not so difficult but required some more deeper concentration folks so that's it <laughs> that was like a lot of work a lot of time sorry for the excessive time but uh, we ended up I think with a good uh, good composition regarding these uh, anatomical shapes I, I quite I'm quite satisfied with the the this new version of the model sheets let's uh, approximate the new ones right uh, the hair I'm just gonna isolate them no actually the hair needs to be on top uh, this I think it's old cannot delete locked layers okay I ah they are locked in the okay these are locked in the timeline so all the thing this why perhaps I didn't lose the annotations after all so you have those four ones let's move this up because whatever uh, let's make a new annotation just in case so this is the if we're gonna annotate anything now it will be let's turn this off so if I need to make any annotation I won't be ruining my others stuff right so let's just see a, uh, some last time what we got here now vamos olhar uma última vez que a gente tem aqui so maybe this idea no this is not this mesh topology no let's try to look here we have a better sample uh, okay so 
good shapes, good proportions, I think. Uh, simple hairstyle, the clothes, yes, cloth model sheet. So this is our next step. Let's uh, make here some adjustments. So maybe this is good. So actually we need, yeah, yeah, half done. How do I say half done? I cannot say half done, so clothes. Is clothes cleanup is done hair figure retakes great so just clothes doing and then we can go to modeling of the rigging shading all of the 3d cartoon air uh, eyes yes 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 and then this will be relatively quick relatively quick but then we need to do the oh yes 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 no, there is something else here that is fundamental if I forgot. So it's modeling. No, uh, just modeling, folks. Just modeling here because the eyes are different. Modeling the eyelids mesh plus eyelashes and eyelashes meshes. Right. Yes, I because totally forgot, right? They would come as part of rigging, but no, let's do them as model right now. It's part. Then we go for the hair, which we have a model sheet. Then uh, mesh geometry, yes, roll revision, that would be, yeah. And then rigging, yeah. Rigging, yeah. My goal is rigging uh, of this character. That would be quite advanced, folks. Uh, so let's go back to the. So here we have. Okay, let's hide now the model sheet for a moment and see the shapes overall. Yes, it's far from complete, but, and there are mistakes. No, it's not far from complete. I mean, the, the, the shapes are mostly good. You need to readapt them to the model sheets now. And because they are very ugly things uh, that are very annoying, uh, Maybe I should try to make the revision of the overall shapes of the body uh, I'll, uh, just after yeah, after the eyes maybe. Yeah, so somewhere in between might be work on that. So that's it for it folks. Uh, thanks for watching. Valeu processing so I hope that was uh, good enough. We are progressing, but yes, it is very, very time consuming it's also because I try to explain stuff. And yeah, it's creating character and we are trying to be very precise very right? very doing this with quality but certainly there are better ways to to uh, <laughs> make a presentation like that so but in the end we should have this character done uh, now available <laughs> provide uh see ya folks thanks for watching uh, and uh yeah see ya next time i hope tomorrow already so we continue with that Take care, happy blending.